Hey friends, I am so excited about tonight's Zoom and who you guys are going to hear from. I'm personally really excited to hear her story. So I know you guys are gonna get so much out of this Zoom and I want you guys to have notepads out, be as focused as you can on what she has to share with you tonight. If you can turn on your cameras, it's always so much nicer to be on these Zooms when you can see some faces. Um, and I want to remind you guys, I know we have a couple people on here. It's your very first Zoom and you're in for such a treat. Um, this isn't going to be your typical Thursday night topic training that we normally do. We have a special guest with us tonight, Kimberly Martin, who's going to be sharing her story and some of her business tips with you guys. And I'm not going to give away any of her story. I want you guys to hear all of it from her, but as a reminder, when she is bringing the fire or you totally relate to something that she's saying, we're gonna drop a bunch of zeros in the chat. That's how we're gonna like, it's kind of like our fire emoji, like that's our round of applause for her. So let's make sure the chat is like just on fire for this whole Zoom for her. Um, and I know that she's already on here. So I'm seriously guys, so blown away, blown away by what I do know about her story and I don't even know everything. So. Kimberly, can you unmute? Hi. Hey, let me find you. I want to spotlight your video, not mine, obviously. Let me see if I can scroll up here. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I don't want to waste any time like talking, my team knows that I like to talk. So I want you to take it away. I wanna hear your story. I wanna hear how you work the business. Anything that you feel called to share tonight, please, by all means, take it away, girl. Awesome. I am so excited to be here tonight with you guys. And I get so inspired each and every single time an ambassador asks me to come on and talk to their team and tell my story. And I always say a little prayer before I do these because I really want to be able to inspire somebody and lift somebody up in this business and in their personal life. And I just want to make sure that I'm telling my story, but I'm also making sure that you guys understand that I'm, I'm talking from my heart and I'm talking about my personal experiences in this company and what has happened to me. And I want you guys to know that everything that I will say here tonight is for you. And please jot down notes, take notes, because I love being able to share what I do each and every single day to inspire you guys. Um, my name is Kimberly Martin. I have been in this business almost two years. It'll be two years, February the 28th, you guys. I signed up at 1045 at night, literally sitting Sitting in my bathroom, I was going through a really tough time in my life, you guys. Um, probably the worst time I had ever had. I was in the process of losing my mom. Um, we had found out two months prior uh, that she had had stage four cancer and that she only had three to nine months to live. And it was a, it was a time of my life. And um, during the time I started seeing Ashley Renau post on social media, we met through a host to post, and I just started her up seeing her post about the business. But I was actually Actually sitting in a hospital room with my mom was in ICU and my husband was on the other end of the hospital. We had no idea what was going on with him, but we knew my mom was passing away. We just didn't know when. And it was the hardest time in my life. And um, it'll, it'll be literally, it's been two years already and I can't believe that. And I literally remember sitting there and seeing Ashley um, post about this business. And I actually own a little coffee shop in a small town as well. And so while I was going through all this with my mom and my husband, you know, we had to close down. So here I am sitting there watching this other girl, you know, post about her business. I had no idea what I was even doing with my current business. I was lost in my life. I felt like everything that I had ever done wrong in my life was coming back on me two years ago. And there was no way for me to stop it. And I uh, actually reached out to me one day and literally told me that my profile picture was beautiful with my wedding dress. And we kind of communicated on and off for a couple of weeks. Well, fast forward to February the 28th, literally a month later, I'm sitting in my bathroom and I'm having a meltdown and I literally see her post again on my social media. At this time, my husband and my mom both had come home. My house felt like a freaking, um, 
it felt like a, a nursing home. I mean, I would be feeding my mom and then my husband would have a PICU line in. I would be giving him fluids. And I just, I, I mean, you guys, you guys have no idea. Like if you're going through something in your life right now and it's making you second guess this business, it's making you second guess is this for you. If you're second guessing why you even started this business, hear me when I tell you this. If you think that nobody else understands things that are going through things in this business, let me tell you something. There, there was no reason why I should have started this business. Like I was in a time of my life where I was still trying to figure out my other business, like trying to figure out if my mom or my husband was even going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like I had no idea what I was doing. And I just seen this girl posting, like you seen your person probably posting. And I said in my bathroom and I said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm just going to do it. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. I know nothing about this company. I know nothing about what she does. I don't even know any what she sells. She could be selling drugs for all I know. <laughs> but I don't know, but I just keep seeing her post and I'm going to do it. She looks so happy and I'm miserable and I, I need some help and somebody just to love me unconditionally, you know? So I literally joined that night and it's a funny story because when I joined at 1045 at night, um, I was sitting in my bathroom and literally when I signed up, she said, girl, um, you need to get six loyal customers and da, 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 da. And I was like, okay. So I posted her phone number on social media. <laughs> She was like, oh my God, Kim is so crazy. Like she said that she was talking to her ambassadors and telling them that, oh my God, I just signed up a nut bag. Like she is posting my phone number on social media. And, and then she had people calling her phone, like wanting to order. Well, let's just say that I ended up getting a loyal customer within the first hour of the business. <laughs> we still make a story about that because it's so funny. But, um, 17 days after I joined this business, you guys, my mom passed away and I had no idea what was going on in my head. I had lost every inch of hope I had in my body. Like I, my husband was getting better. Thank God. But my mom, she, she was gone. I woke up, you know, March 18th of 2019 and she was gone and uh, she passed away in my home. And that is my testimony to this business because you guys have no idea, like I shut down. And if you're going through something in your life right now, and you just, you're, you don't know where, you don't even know where to start. You feel like every day is just blending in with the next one. You feel like, I don't know, like I, I can't get it together. I, I can't be on these Zooms. I can't train. I can't, I can't think. I can't, I just feel like I can't do anything. Like I can't accomplish anything in my life. And if that's how you're feeling right now, like I get chills by even thinking about it because I understand your pain. I understand. I totally understand. Like I feel like I, I, I should have, I, I personally would have rather been stabbed a million times and to feel the pain that I felt the day when I found my mom passed away. Like I cannot describe how much I felt and fast forward, you know, two months, I didn't do anything with this business. I didn't work the business. I didn't even try to do anything with it. My coffee shop was still closed down and Ashley just kept messaging me. She just kept saying, are you okay? Are you okay? Now you got to think she lives in Florida. I live in Georgia. We don't, we don't know one another. You guys, we've never, we don't even, we, we just been through a host of posts. You know what I'm saying? I'm just putting her phone number on social media to get customers. You know what I mean? But that's it. I never did anything else. And Ashley actually thought that I had ghosted her. She thought I ghosted her. And and you guys know how that feels. We enroll all these distributors and they ghost us and you don't think that they're going to do anything in the business. Well, I was that girl. I was that girl. But if it wasn't for Ashley Renau, you know, reaching out to me and asking me if I was okay and just, you know, just she had like, she didn't know. She had never like lost a mom before. She really didn't know how to relate to my feelings, but she just was there and, and she was just there. And I remember just starting, opening up my coffee shop. I started working the business. I finally just said, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to give it my 150%. Like I'm a go getter and I've, I've got to do something. So I ended up working this business full throttle. I ended up going Emerald in like five months in it. Um, then we had another clincher, right? So September comes around. I had been working the business for five months. I had been building up my, my network. I was enrolling people. Like I was doing good. I felt like I was doing all the things. And then September came around, you guys, and I got hacked. And my Facebook account 
and lost all my potentials, lost all my customers that I thought I had, all the potential distributors. It was a 10 year account, you guys. I was devastated. I was like, oh my God, if there was more of a reason for me to quit, it was for that. Like I lost all my stuff. Like I had pictures of my mom. I had pictures of 10 years worth of stuff and it was gone. And I had just got my platform to like 5,000 friends, you guys. And I was like, Oh my God. So for two weeks I was doing everything. I was trying to figure out how to get back in. I was trying to Google everything. I was trying to call 1-800 numbers at this point. Like I didn't care what I had to do. Like I was trying to figure out how I could get back in my damn account. You know, I need to make some money. Like I literally just got in emerald and i'm sitting here like oh my god i gotta go diamond and now i've lost all my connections well you know what kim did kim literally got on that social media one day after two weeks of being in her feelings and uh i i i made me a new account and i'm talking about within two weeks you guys i had five thousand friends because i went playing around like i wasn't worried about no customers i wasn't worried about no distributors because who the hell am i sell to i don't have nobody watching me i don't have an audience so i had to focus on how i could expand my my network and grow my friends you guys okay like the devil was working hard on this one he was like your mama dead <laughs> you ain't your feelings i'm gonna cancel that account you gonna lose all your connections and i was like oh no you ain't today okay so i literally went on social media and just started adding friends over and over and over again. I didn't know who you was. I didn't care who you was. I didn't care if you'd been with my husband. I didn't care if that was your baby mama. I didn't care if you was going on my Facebook because I needed an audience to watch me and my products and my opportunity, okay? Everybody was getting messaged. Everybody was getting friended. Didn't care who you was. I would go to somebody's page and go to their friends list and literally just go add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend. I got blocked so many times from adding friends, but as soon as that little thing lifted, I was at add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend. Like I was on add friend crazy. And so I. I ended up having like 5,000 friends in like two weeks. So don't tell me that you can't get friends, okay? Like I am a friend adder queen, okay? I will add anybody and they daddy, granddaddy, auntie, uncle, cousin. I don't care. You get added and you get messaged, okay? So I literally added, got those people back up. Well, here we are at the end of 2019. And I just felt like I was doing all the things. I was doing these leaderships, you guys. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I wasn't doing. I got to Emerald without hosted posting. Okay, and I was blessed. And I'd already made a new account and I was doing my thing and I was rolling, but then here comes the end of 2019. I've been in the business at this point for about nine months. And I was like, why can't I go diamond, Ashley? Why, why can't I go diamond? Like, I feel like I'm doing all the things. And what she didn't realize, like, I mean, what I didn't realize is that I was taking all my pain and I was taking, I was taking all the things that I was hurting and I was putting it into this business and I was distracting myself with hurt. Okay. And Ashley and Amy Spence, they seen that and they seen, you know, that I had the potential of going to the top in this business, but they came to me one day and they said, y'all, they said, Kim, we think you're amazing. We think that you can do it. Like you have the leadership, but Kim, you're not going to be able to get to the next level in this business or the next level in your life until you learn everything that you need to know right now in this level. And I didn't know exactly what they meant, you guys. And so I, I kept struggling with anxiety. It was getting worse and worse every day. I would get on our training Zooms just so I didn't have to be alone and have a panic attack. Like it was bad. Like y'all, it was getting bad. Like it was getting to the point where I was running out of room to hide from my pain. Like I was distracting myself from the pain that I had encountered in the beginning of the year. Like it was time, it was coming and, and I could feel it. January of 2020 hit me, y'all, like a ton of bricks. I'm talking about I, every emotion that I had been holding in for those past 10 months. I literally, it came out of me. And when I tell you that the devil wanted me, he wanted me so bad. He gave me every type of panic attack you could imagine. And I'm talking about, I didn't want to be here. And I, I'm talking about, I, I missed my mama so bad that there was nothing 
that nobody could tell me. There was nothing that nobody could say that made me feel any better. There was nothing. And I just kept telling myself that I would get through it. And I just kept telling myself, you know, I'm a believer and God's going to get me through it. God's going to get me through it. You know, what I learned in January of 2020 is that God just didn't want to get me through it. He wanted me to learn in my pain. He wanted me to prosper in my pain. He wanted me to use my pain to not only build me to be a stronger version of myself, but to help you guys be the best versions of yourself. And I didn't understand that, but you know, I'm going to tell you, I felt like I was walking through fire. I felt like I was in like, oh my God, I can't even explain it. Like it was the worst I had ever felt my whole life. And that could have been a moment I gave up on myself. That could have gave, that could have been a moment that I gave up on my goals and my dreams. I could have gave up being a mama. I could have gave up being a wife. I could have gave up just being who I was because that's what I felt like. I felt like I had nothing left. I felt like when my mama left me, I felt like I had nothing like left for me here, even though I have a daughter and I sound so shitty, but in reality, that's how I feel. And there's so many of you out there right now that's down in your feelings, that's down on your luck or down in whatever current situation that you're going through. And you feel like that's going to be your forever. And you feel like you're never going to be better than who you are today. You are feeling like you're going to quit. You're feeling like you're done because you haven't got no customers. You're feeling like you're done because you haven't got a distributor. Do you know that Cami Pentecost did not get her first loyal customer for six months and she's the CEO's daughter you guys hear me when I tell you this that no matter what you're going through right now I know your pain I know your pain I know how it hurts and I know that it's struggling and I know you're struggling right now but I'm here to tell you that, that that's just your test okay that's your test and that's your testimony because without a test we ain't gonna have that testimony how are we supposed to go on stage and tell people people how we made it to ambassador and we ain't got a damn story we gotta tell a story and we gotta tell people how and what we went through in order to inspire the next person so don't sit back and tell me that you're going through x y and z and that's the reason why you can't work this business it's because you don't have no time and because you're going through all the things well did you understand that all the things that you're going through is going to be the reason why god prospers you to the top of this business because you never decided to give up on you you never decided to give up on yourself you decided not to give up on your team you decided not to give up period because the more the devil works in your life you push harder you hit harder you go harder and you do everything that you can to get past that mother okay you do everything that you can because i promise you you are better than anything that any bad person has ever told you you hear what i'm saying any negative person that has told you that you're not worth it, any person that's told you that you ain't gonna make it in this business, any person that's ever told you doubt or fear or you're feeling that, hear me when I tell you that is the devil and you, you cannot go on stage as an ambassador, you guys, without a testimony being so heart filled and a tear dropping down your face. You hear what I'm saying? Because you're gonna look back in all those ranks, you're gonna look back at presidential and diamond and ruby and executive and distributor and you're gonna remember all those times and all those struggles you guys you're gonna remember it and you're gonna look at each and every single one of those faces in the crowd and you're gonna say you can do it you can do it you can do it because this is what i went through not just one time not just two times but my struggle was continuous and you know why your struggle is going to be continuous it's because the devil knows that you're special the devil knows that you can do it and that god has great plans for you or he wouldn't be bothering you amen okay so let me move forward because i've been preaching like i like on the church or something so anywho i ended up going to conference you guys last year in february of 2020. I was broken. I was hurt. I was not the same person. Ashley Renau, like I had already bought my ticket, you know, like $269 ticket, y'all. Like I wouldn't even go go. I had just started anxiety medicine. My team was there for me like I had never experienced before in my life. Ashley Renau and Amy Spence came to me one day and they said, Kim, we love you, but we know that you need help. We know that you need to go talk to somebody because you talk to everybody, but it is time for you to go talk to somebody else, girl, that really can help you in your mindset because you ain't going to get to the next level if your mind 
mindset's not okay, all right? So I ended up starting counseling. I ended up going again on anxiety medicine because I needed it. Lord, help me. <laughs> it's really working out today for me real good. And so I literally started doing that the same week that I went to conference in 2020, you guys. And I went to conference in 2020 and I got there and it changed my life. I cannot express that. Ashley kept telling me, she was like, girl, conference going to save you. It's going to make your business so good. And I was like, okay, Ashley, calm down. It ain't that serious, you know? She, no, she went lying, y'all. I literally went to that conference and I came back a new person. I felt like I got dipped in the holy water. You know what I'm saying? You know how you get baptized and you come back up. You're like, ooh, I am so good today. You know, that's how I felt. And I came back home and they released those bonuses. And I said, let me tell y'all something. This girl right here is going ambassador. Kim going to get all them bonuses and we're going to go get naked in Mexico somewhere in uh, the beach. Okay. We're going to go on them naked beaches and we're going to drink all the margaritas. Okay. So I literally came home and I knew that I needed to do something that was going to get me where I needed because I've been getting my mind right. I, I had been focusing on me. I started my counseling, getting my crazy meds. Like I was doing my thing. I was I was focusing on myself. And, and let me tell you guys something. If you're struggling with mindset, you can't do anything else right now. You got to focus on you. You got to focus on your mind. You got to get your positivity together because if your mind ain't right, you can't teach. If your mind ain't right, you can't train. You got to work on you. You are important. You are first. You hear what I'm saying? Take care of you, okay? And move forward. Take care of you, but move forward, okay? Don't back up. Don't pause. Just keep moving forward and take those baby steps, okay? Listen to your leaders. Listen to what they have to say, because I promise you, they're not telling you anything that they ain't already been through, okay? Just keep going forward. I came back home and I said, I got to do some host to post. I never done host to post in my life, you guys. I got to Emerald without host to post. I started host to post and I said, I'm doing this. And I'm talking about in 30 days, I went from executive pay to diamond pay. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Am I lying, Ashley? Where are you at, girl? I ain't lying. I literally went from executive pay to diamond pay in 30 days. My paycheck was like $120, y'all. I could That's not even enough to go get my nails and these feet done, okay? Because <laughs> y'all know I'll be spending way more than that on these things. So I literally went from $120 paycheck to literally OMG, like almost talking about a boob job type situation. You know what I'm saying? Like I was so excited. And then the next month I went double diamond. And then the next month after that, my husband went diamond. So I ended up collecting a $55,000 bonus, you guys. And I was so excited. But I literally sat there in April and I cried. And I got my first paycheck that was like between me and my husband. And it was quadruple of what it was just three months ago. And so if you're sitting there and you're telling yourself that you ain't gonna make that $10,000 bonus, you ain't gonna make that $20,000 bonus, you ain't gonna make that ambassador, you ain't gonna make that diamond, you ain't gonna make that double diamond, you are lying to yourself. Because I was, oh my God, if you knew me back in January of 2020, you guys, there was no hope for me. You hear what I'm saying? There was no hope for me, you guys. Like I was not the same Kim that I am today. My confidence wasn't who I was today. Host to post saved my business. And until to this day, it literally has turned my business upside down. If you don't know what host to post is, that's that's something completely like that's a whole nother chat we got to go into, you guys. But ask your leaders of what host to post is, okay? Like, ask them. But when I tell you that if you're not doing host to post, you're missing out on so much opportunity, you're missing out on so much possibility. And I promise you, there's people out there waiting for you to contact them. There's people out there waiting for you. And, and hear me when I say this, because I'm going to sum this up because I'm going to take up her whole 30 minutes of her training tonight. And literally, when I, it's just, I always have so much to say because I have so much heart in this business and I wish that I could take out my feelings. I tell my team this all the time. I wish I could take out my heart and place it in you guys' chest and so that you could understand how much love and loyalty I have to this company because without this company, I can't tell you where I would be. I can't tell you without these amazing people that's my best friends like Amy Spence and Ashley when I was like my best friends. I'm their best friends. Like they know like I'm their best friend. So when I tell you 
that I love this company. This company changed my life in so many ways, not just mentally, not just spiritually, not just income wise. Like it's changed me from the top to the bottom of my life. And I forever, forever, forever will love this company. And I'm not going anywhere. So y'all going to see me even when I get this face done. Y'all going to be like, who is that? I'm going to be like, it's Kim, but I'm redone. I'm redone with It Work Bunny. So literally, I'm so excited for each and every single one of you and the opportunity that this company has allowed you in your life. And hear me when I say this, be consistent, be steady, make sure that you're doing the things every day, not just one day, not just the next day, not skip a week. Don't say I put up five host to post today and, I, and I'm good. I'm going to wait for them to respond. Don't do that. Don't do that. You better keep on rolling. Don't wait for somebody to respond. You better keep on messaging. You better keep on going, okay? Don't sit back and wait for somebody to ask you a question. Go ask them a question. You hear what I'm saying? Go ask them, why are you not working with me? Why you ain't drinking my coffee? Why are we not best friends, okay? And literally make that connection with these people. These people want a connection with you, okay? Now, if you have any questions, can you please put them in the chats, okay? Because I'm going to tell you, I could go on all night because I love this company. And I always have so much to say, but I always just want to make sure that I'm covering a roundabout things because I just feel like in the past two years, I've had so many things happen to me in this business, good and bad. And when I tell you that I've worked through them and I've gotten through them, but I would not have been able to do it without my girls. And I would not have been able to do it without this motivation. And I love it. And um, where are you at, girlfriend? Who brought me on here? Hey. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. I don't know that I've ever seen our chat on Zoom as mm. crazy as it was the whole time you were talking. I, I think everyone, the main question that I'm seeing in the chat right now is, can you be my best friend <laughs> from, uh, yeah. from multiple people? So you've got a lot of applications for best friends right now. Um, I, I would love, like, if you guys have questions, she said you can ask questions. So yeah. please throw them in the chat. I know we've got a lot of people that have a lot of life going on. Um, there's another, can you be my BFF? Um, I'm on my phone. I'm not on a computer. So if my, my screen goes blank. It's just because I'm looking at the chat. You're totally fine. We've got, um, how did you push through the hard days? Did you read or listen to anything specific? Um, okay. um, no, honestly, I, I, well, I'm not a reader. Um, I just started doing kind of like this little Bible thing, but I'm going to be honest with you. I am a person that seeks energy off of people. Um, I am a person that when I want to do something, I want to learn something. I don't wait for somebody to teach it to me. I run after that them. And I, I remember Melody McFarland, if you don't follow her on Facebook, she's like, now nah, I really best friend. She's like, uh, been in this company for like 17 years, you guys. Um, and I remember going up to her at green carpet. It. And I watched her and her husband speak and um, their their journey in this business. And I remember walking up to her at Green Carpet, only been in this business five months. And I walked up and I said, girl, I'm going ambassador. And Amy Spitz said, oh, my God, you're so embarrassed. And I was like, uh, why? Because that's going to be my best friend one day. And we're going to be going on these ambassador trips. No, I, I love hearing people's testimonies. I love being able to see people on stage. That's why it's important for you guys to get on these Zooms and listen to people's stories because it's not the book to me that inspires. It's the story that you guys tell. It's the stories that I tell. It's the stories behind the stories. And I want to hear how people made it because that's what touches my heart. Now, we have been trying to get people to read inspirational things, and I think that's important. But if you're asking me personally, I think it's important to listen to people's stories. And even when it sounds boring, you got to find that person that really that really draws your interest and, and listen because I may talk for 45 minutes and you may not hear nothing for 30 but in that last 15 there may be one thing that I say that flips your whole mindset around okay did I answer that good I, I no that was perfect and I think that's good for people to hear because I hear that a lot like I'm just not a reader or when I listen to podcasts I just don't absorb it but I think when you can resonate with the person that's speaking and you can find your people in the company that you connect with, it makes all the difference. Like, I know we have a lot of people that follow Ashley Mayfield and there's all these different like bold personalities. And I think once you find your person, if you can just like hone in on that. So good. That was such good advice. Um, I look in here just to see if there's any other questions. There were some host to post questions. Um, 
And I don't know if you would answer this the same way. I know someone asked if um, like they, they're having, they have a lot of people on their team who can't get them to say, can't get people to say yes to host the post. I feel like you kind of answered that with, you grew your freaking network more. Like, I think if more distributors would just focus on growing their network rather than the outcome or the customers, like growing your network by default will find you the people that will post, will find you the customers, will find you the distributors. Like so many people when they start and they have a smaller network, I'm like, if you just like take 30 days or two weeks to just grow your friends list like crazy, then you can start like really going. So I don't know if you have any other advice, like if you have people that girls on your team that can't get, can't get people to post for them, but that's kind of my advice. So like, um, my thing is, and this is just me and with our team, I do trainings um, all, like almost every single day on our page. And what I like to tell, you know, everybody, even if they're not on my downline, this is what I like to tell you guys. And uh, this is what I have found that if you're consistent with posting on your social media every day. Now I'm a realist now I'm a red person. And so I, I don't mean to say things if it sounds too bold, but if you have a kitty cat as your profile picture, you're probably not going to get no host to post. Okay. If you have a weird background on your cover photo, that's probably not going to happen for you. I'm just going to be honest. You look like a creeper. Um, if you are not posting, <laughs> I mean, I'm being serious y'all. I don't, I don't do that. I ain't commenting on creeper and we are not business. disagreeing with you. I, I agree. They could be in jail and uh, try to work. No, you ain't working with me, Stuart. Okay. So you have to be willing to make sure that your Facebook page is approachable. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really have, I don't have a problem with people doing hosted posts for me. You know what I want, um, reason why? It's because I'm consistent with my posting. I talk about my story every day on my Facebook. Um, I make sure my story is full. I make sure that people know what I do for a living. I have pride in my, my company. I have pride in my team. I have pride in these products. I'm not ashamed of, to talk about it. It'll make me nervous. And that's, you know, I know a lot of people get nervous with these kind of things because they're scared of um, negativity or they're scared of a no or they're scared of what people will think. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I never really had that doubt because I know when I want to do something, I'm going to make it happen. And I know I'm a good person. So I know I'm not going to run after something that's not going to be in good value to people, you know? So if you are consistent with posting your story every day, posting about your products, making sure that your profile picture isn't a weird kitty cat cactus. You know what I mean? Like making sure that your page looks legit. And this is what I tell my team all the time. If you can scroll down your Facebook page and within the first couple seconds, and if that does not symbolize who you are as a person, then people's probably not interested. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like you have to make sure that your profile picture is the way that you would be interested. If you're not even interested in your own Facebook page, then what makes you think other people's going to be interested? You don't have to be like the next person, but honestly, you know, we talk about duplication in this business, not because you are trying to be like the ambassador that, but you do want to follow their lead. You do want to follow their drift because they didn't get to where they are by not doing what the leaders taught them to do. You know what I mean? So make sure that you're going to your leaders pages. I mean, go to mine. If you add me as a friend, I'm so sorry, but I have 5,000 friends right now. And now I'm just trying to get followers and I'm trying to get some people off my page. Okay. I got stalkers for days. So, I mean, I'm trying to get some space. So just know if I don't add you as a friend, it's nothing personal. It's just, I really have no more room. I'm dying right now. I need more space. I need to, I need to buy some space. Okay. So yeah, like it's retarded how many friends I got. I'm so popular these days. <laughs> Everybody wants my gummies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you are the best um by the way are you i'm assuming you're on instagram are you on instagram yeah i am mm -hmm. oh, what's your handle i was just like what say, how yeah, what's your name oh um i don't know honestly um i was just gonna I, make sure okay. that everyone knew so they could tag you in beautiful photos from your zoom tonight oh god this is not that beautiful <laughs> face um i think it's kim kelsey 08 I'm gonna be oh. honest with you. I'm okay. not a big Instagrammer. I well, just you are started. killing it on host to post on Facebook, so it's okay. I, just, I am. I'm killing it on Facebook. Instagram's not my thing, but I just started using it, you guys. And I'm a TikToker. You know, I'll be out there like trying to do my thing. I saw some people say in the chat that they love following you on TikTok. So I bet you're Thank about. You. To get, I bet you're about to get some new followers over there too, because we've got. Some Please people. do. I'm trying we've to got some people on the TikTok train. Um, I got a lot of advice for people. 
got a lot of it masked with people if you date older men on my TikTok. Because my husband is 20 years older than me, so. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, we do have one last question and then I'll let you go because I know time is precious and you got to get back to your host to post. But um, someone asked, a couple people asked, what's the best way to like build up your testimony? I'm having difficulties building it up and being able to post it. So do you have any advice for like, kind of, I guess, just sharing your story or, or being vulnerable on social media? Um, you know, you guys should definitely like follow me. Um, the easiest way for me to explain your story every day, you don't have to write out like this whole, you know, book, like I, like how I talk, you know what I mean? You don't have to write your whole novel every single day. I like to throw breadcrumbs to people. Um, I like to share pieces of my story. Um, and not even, like, how do I put it? Like not even trying to be talking about my story, but I'll be driving and I'll see something like the other day I seen some cows. Okay. And I grew up in the city and I now I live in a really country town and just looking at those cows, I pass it every day, taking my daughter to school and, you know, just kind of sitting there thinking about those cows. The first thing I said, you know what? I remember when I was a little girl that every time I would pass a cow growing up and we'd go to the country, I would be so excited because, you know, we, I, we never seen cows in Atlanta. And so it was exciting for me, or if we went to a pet and zoo, you know, and I would just, I'm, I kind of, I guess you could say I'm kind of like a journalist because I like to write my feelings. You ever watch Sex in the City and how Carrie Bradshaw would see something or hear something and then she would just like talk, like that's how she would get her vibe for the day. And that's what she would write about. That's just what I do. I look for my testimony in my everyday life. I look for things that inspire me that's going to pick something out in my head that I can relate to and I want my audience to see that who I am today is not who I used to be and the the things I used to do uh not the best today I'm, I'm trying to be the better person I used to be broke now I have more income today I'm not with let me just be real. I'm not with a shitty man. Like I'm with a good man now. I've made better decisions in my life. And so by you showing, you know, that you're progressing, no matter how big those progressions are, they could be baby steps. That's what people are seeking. You know, it's not your today's life. Like, like for a lot of us that have like reached a certain point, like we all have struggles, but some of us are going through our main struggles of our lifetime right now. And tiptoe into those be comfortable with your story find things in your everyday life that you can relate back to and post it on your story you guys post a post a little thing about yourself I, you guys it doesn't matter what your past story is i don't care how horrible it may sound i don't care if you are a drug abuser um i don't care if you um were anorexic i don't care if it was about rape it like whatever your story is, all of you guys have a platform of the people that you're supposed to be attracting. You all have a story and a platform of the people that you're supposed to be inspiring. And you have to be okay with that platform. And I understand that we all have pain and we're all dealing with things that has hurt us. And that's the reason why we're all broken to a degree. But at the end of the day, you have to be comfortable with the story that you have because you didn't get in this company by accident. And I'm, I promise you, if you're seeking loyal customers, if you're seeking Seeking distributors and you and you you're scared of telling your story and you're wondering how you're gonna get that paycheck and how you're gonna go to diamond you guys you hold the key to your success every single day and you're the only one that does hold the key to your success because nobody knows your story the way that you know your story but you have to be willing to open up that diary and put it all out there on Facebook. And don't worry about those haters. Don't worry about those negative comments because that's what we have a block button for. That's what we have a delete button for. You delete them and then you come back to your group with your girls and we'll give you the recognition and the love and that you need. Does that make sense? Does that sound good? Yes, it's so good. And I wanna, if you guys missed it in the chat, Ashley Renau said in there like, everyone has a story. I know some of you guys are sitting thinking, I'm not like Kim or I don't have a story but that there's someone waiting for you to speak up and you all have a story and they all look different. And I often think about like, God didn't put me here to get 5,000 friends 
to gather loyal customers and distributors. Like the purpose is so much deeper than that. Like, why would I grow this platform and then not turn around and help people with the story that we have? And my story looks a lot different than yours, but it's helped me build relationships that have helped me in other areas of my life too, and not just business. So think about things in your life that have been painful, that have been hard. Um, again, it doesn't have to look exactly like Kim's story or my story or Ashley's story. They all look a little bit different, but there's someone that needs a part of your story and something that you've overcome. And if you're not sharing it, you're doing those people a disservice. So I think everyone on here is so thankful for this Zoom tonight. I know we'll have tons of people watching the recording. You've got lots of new stalkers on your page that are so inspired and fired up by you tonight. Um, it's definitely not an accident that some of these people were on here tonight to hear you speak. And we just seriously appreciate it so much. I'm so glad Ashley mentioned your name and that I reached out and that you agreed to do this for us because we really just appreciate it so, so much. Hey, what does zeros mean? Um, so <laughs> we do zeros and we learned it from another leader um, and they do zeros for like round of applause, like bringing the boom. It's just like a encouragement. <laughs> like, so oh, I don't know why, but she said it one time. <laughs> so you just scroll up and see all those zeros because they were going a little bit nuts. It's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, but yes, <laughs> take a second and um, you know, you guys thank Kim for being on tonight. It was seriously fire. So good. So needed for so many people. And we appreciate you so, so much for being on tonight.